Okay, so what you're looking to do, first things first, settings, unit of measure. Now you have two options to solve this flow. This is how most people are going to solve it, what I'm about to show you. You have a product here called, uh, actually, let's before we do that, let's configure our unit of measure. I'm going to create a new one called a pallet. In this case, it could be um, of apples, or you can just leave it a pallet. If you know if a pallet uh, is a measured by unit, it's bigger, right? One thousand units are in a pallet. That's essentially the configuration that I just made. Now I go to my products. I'm going to create a product here called an apple. And apples, I track in my stock by the unit. However, I buy them by the pallet. And I can say I paid you know, 25 cents per apple and we'll save it. Now, I'm also gonna have another product called a um, 25 pack, in this case, of apples. Same, right? Storable product and I buy by the unit and I have a uh, unit of measure here. Actually, I don't buy, I'm gonna manufacture this. And now I'm going to say in order to make a 25 pack of apples or to package a 25 pack of apples, I need to consume 25 apples, 25 units. So let's start the flow. First things first, let's buy a pallet of apples. We'll have a vendor X. We have uh, an apples we buy by the pallet, $250 per pallet. I click confirm. And I look at my receipt, and it's set to bring in 1,000 units of the apple. I click Apply, and now my stock is updated. If I look at my inventory report, to show that I have 1,000 units of the apple in stock. Next step, let's make some 25, let's package some 25 packs of apples. Go to my inventory, create. I say I want to make a 25, you know, I want to make, um, let's just say, 43, you know, 25 packs. That's more stock than I have on hand. So let's say 30, uh, 26, 28 packs. That's going to consume 700 apples. Maybe I want to make 30, right? 30 times 25 is 750. So I can click save, confirm this, and I can mark it as done. And that's indicating in the system I've just packed 30 units of the 25 packs of apples. And now when I look at my inventory report, you'll see I only have 250 apples left in stock. However, I now have 30 25 packs. So if I go and I sell a 25 pack of apples, you'll see to John Doe, I can do that. I can, and it'll tell me here that I have 30 units of this product available. So that would be, and right obviously when I uh, sell it, oops, not send my email, but just click confirm. It will set, schedule up a delivery order to deliver one unit of the 25 pack of apples. And I can ship that and it will leave my stock. And of course, when I go back to my inventory report, you can see here, I have 29 units of this product left, but I still have my 250 apples.